Hey guys, how's it going? I'm um, going to be doing something a wee bit different today. Um, I'm not going to be doing a review or anything. Um, I'm going to be talking about um, Paul Schrader's new movie, The Canyons. Um, it comes out in America August 2nd. I think it comes out in cinemas and, you know, like... Uh, video on demand and stuff like that. Um, the Canyons, I'm on IMDb here and it basically, you know, the story, the, the plot, it says here, when Christian, an LA trust fund kid with casual ties to Hollywood, learns of a secret affair between Tara and the lead of his film project, he spirals out of control and his cruel mind games escalate into an act of bloody violence. Um, it's written by Bradley Stanellis, who has um, wrote books such as American Psycho and Lesson Zero and The Rules of Attraction. All of them have been made in the films. Um, and you, you probably, you know, the most famous one of those is probably American Psycho with Christian Bale. Um, the Rules of Attraction is another good one with James Van Der Beek. And I haven't seen Lesson Zero, I think it stars Robert Downey Jr. But the reason, you know, Canyons is so interesting to me is, you know, it's directed by Paul Schrader, who's, um, he's wrote films such as Taxi Driver and Raging Bull, and, you know, he's a really good writer, um, he's worked with Martin Scorsese, and he's, you know, he's directed films as well, he's directed, you know, Autofocus with Greg Kinnear, and, um, he has also directed Affliction, which I think was nominated for a few Oscars. And um, American Gigolo as well. So, I mean, you know, he's been about a long time. And he's wrote, you know, he's been nominated for two Golden Globes. And, you know, he's wrote Taxi Driver and Raising Bull. But, I mean, The Canyons. The Canyons stars Lindsay Lohan. You know, he's coming off... Um, She's been, you know, in the, the media a lot, you know, for um, drugs and drink driving and stuff like that there. Um, and also, this is the, you know, the main, one of the main controversial points to the film, I think, anyway. Um, it stars uh, a guy called James Dean, porn star James Dean. Um, you know, he's... He's been about for a while. He's, you know, I'm on IMDb. Is IMDb here? And you know, 2004. He's been making porn films, and he's only he's only 26, 27 years old. And you know, this is his first sort of mainstream movie, and I think it was Brad Easton Ellis. Um, found his Twitter or something and you know I'm not sure like you know how he, you know how he thought that you know James Dean is gonna you know be a really good actor in this or you know what way it must have been his character um he must have just seen something in you know his, his porn movies or something that sort of struck him like this you know this guy would be good as um one of the leads in Canyons is Christian. His character's name's Christian. And also Gus Van Sant's in it as well. He plays a guy called Dr. Campbell. And, you know, Gus Van Sant has directed, you know, Good Will Hunting and Elephant. You know, Gus Van Sant's a really good director as well. Um, and then there's another guy called Nolan Jared Funk in it. He plays Ryan. I think, yeah, he plays... Um, he stars in the film as the lead to Tara's character in Christian's film and you know Lindsay Lohan plays the lead Tara but it's just weird you know James Dean he's just he's came out of nowhere and you know he's starring like with Paul Schrader you know he's being directed by Paul Schrader and written by Bradley Snellis I mean, it's 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 a weird one, like it really is weird. 
but you know I'm, I'm really um, interested in it and I'm looking forward to seeing it because the new trailer you know I think the new trailer looks great um, I'm actually gonna watch it here now and just you know tell you a wee bit about what's happening in the trailer just about to play here you know at the start you've got Lindsay Lohan do you really like movies? Sort of really, night rating. really like movies. When's the last time you went to see a movie in a theater? You know, you know a movie it's that a low budget movie really as well. I think it was made for two hundred fifty thousand dollars. I don't know. You know, I guess maybe it's just not my thing anymore. You've got this sort of dubstep music. You know, it's got a really cool feel to it. The trailer, anyway. It's got the dubstep music and stuff, and then you've got like, you know, the flashing images and stuff. I like making my own movies. What do you mean you make your own movies? And surprisingly enough, like, I mean, James Dean, you know, he, he looks like, he looks pretty good in the film, like acting wise. You know, it looks like he's got the the sort of charisma and stuff for his character. I guess I'd like to keep some parts of my life private. Nobody has a private life anymore, Tara. All actors. It does look really interesting, so it does. Um, it's out August 2nd in America. Um, in select theaters, so it's gonna probably have a limited release. Like, I mean, the budget isn't big, as I was saying, it was two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and apparently the actors were reportedly paid a hundred dollars a day. You know, I'm not sure if that was like the extras or you know even the lead actors. Um, but yeah, um, anything else I could tell you about it? Um, it says here in the trivia on MDB, as described in an in-depth behind-the-scenes New York article about the film's production, Paul Schrader directed a sex scene naked in an effort to placate Lindsay Lohan. Um, was submitted to the 2013 Sundance Film Festival and SXSW Film Festival, but was rejected by both. Um, funded in large part by a campaign on kickstarter.com um, At the table read, Lohan had a script where in large writing it had Nolan George's funk name crossed out with the word no next to it on other casting suggestions but by the end of the table read she had changed her mind and at the next rehearsal was thrilled to be working with him. Um, the film will screen this year at the, the Venice International Film Festival um, I'm not sure if that's, you know, it's already been or not, but, um, yeah, so I'm really, you know, really looking forward to the canyons, and, you know, I'm not familiar with Paul Schrader's stuff, apart from his, you know, like, Taxi Driver and Raging Bull, and, you know, the bigger stuff he's done, so I'm going to be buying more of his DVDs, and also Bradley Stanellis, I'm going to try and, you know, check out Less Than Zero as well. But I mean, the con well, sort of controversial side of the film is casting James Dean, you know, as one of the leads. And, you know, I think he does, you know, he's got the charisma and stuff for the role, I think. And I'm really interested in seeing what he does, you know, how well he acts in the film. Because, like, you know, being picked out by Brady Snellis and you know Paul Schrader as a director you know he must have you know some acting ability and acting credit like so um I'm just on his MDB here I'm not gonna you know name any of the films he's been in before but like I say The Canyons is his first mainstream movie and I do hope to see the guy and you know other stuff you know if he does well in The Canyons and um, you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing it. So, um, yeah. So, you know, if 
If you're following a Lindsay Lohan or you know Paul Schrader or Betty Sinellis, definitely check out the Canyons. Um, coming out August the second in America in limited theaters. And I think video on demand. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think it's coming out video on demand. Um, but you know, I hope I hope it's a good film. I mean, it's shot really low budget, and it's got you know it's got Lindsay Lohan, it's got James Dean, it's got Gus Van Sant, and it's got a few other you know low key actors, sort of up and coming actors. Um, so you know it's going to be interesting to see what way it turns out. And I really really love the, the new trailer. You know with the the dubstep music and stuff. It really suits it. And you know the sort of sort of glitzy glammy sort of thing to the trailer as well with the lights and stuff and the flickering you know the flickering lights on and off and you've got some cool dialogue in there you know from James Dean um, you know about him making movies and stuff and then Lindsay Lohan talking about you know when was the last time you were um, you went to the theatre you know to see a movie that you really loved so um, yeah, thanks for watching guys and you know that was just a, a wee bit about the canyons coming out. I'm really interested in seeing it. Um I'll be going to see Pacific Rim tomorrow night, so I might have a, have a review up of Pacific Rim in the next couple of days. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys and um I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.